Hey everyone, it's Rachel here with Backyard Blossoms, here with another video, and I'm super excited about this one. We are tackling this flower bed here right behind me. I've got some perennials in this bed that I started from seed last year, and they have just taken off like crazy. I have some plants that kind of died over the winter, so I need to take those out. And then I have some seedlings that I started. I had hardened them off all week, and they have done really well, but they are showing some little struggle, and I think they just need to get into their new home. So we're gonna plant all of that, get it all ready to go. It's gonna be amazing, so stay tuned. So let's get a good picture of what we are starting with so that you can see the beginning and the after once everything is blooming this summer. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is in the flower bed right now. All right, so now you see what we have to work with, and it's gonna be a really cool before and after shot when we get it all done. So let's go ahead and get started with putting some seedlings in the ground, and well, we'll clean up the bed first, and then we'll put seedlings in the ground. Looks like I recruited some help over here. Say hi, JJ. Hi. So JJ and I got the flower bed mostly done. Almost all the weeds are out. We kind of stirred up the dirt a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of fertilizer into the mix here. Our first order of business are some lilies. Now don't do what I did and let them sit in the bag too long because then you're gonna have a green twisty mess. So ignore that part of it, but the other ones seem to be doing just fine. So we're gonna add all of the lilies back over here with the other lilies over there and we'll have a pretty little lily patch.
right, everyone. I am so exhausted after planting all of that stuff and I'm so thankful for my sweet daughter. She helped me out and I could not have done it without her. I just wanted to show you guys the final project so that you can see what we were up to. And um, I'm so pleased with it. It turned out absolutely amazing. So let's go look. Right, so here you're gonna see some of our sea hollies, our big daisy bush. We left the carnation bush there. We also planted a bunch of those lilies that had kind of gotten spirally and out of control. So they may not do very well this season, but they'll be doing good for next season. We fixed our little Mrs. Froggy. She's looking good. Another carnation bush there. We do have one salvia that made it, so we have that there. I ended up putting all of the stock plants right in front of that rock, and I hope that they start doing well, but they kind of drift off down into the front. We have a yarrow plant here, and then we have our straw flowers towards the back. And then over here we have some Canterbury Bells and we left our um, some of our plants here our big yarrow bush and our sedum is there and then we have a little calla lily that started coming up in the middle there so we left that alone and then we put in some um, timeless mix back there so that should be good. Here's our Larkspur and our Sweet William should be coming up soon. We have some Feverfew kind of making a circle around this big yarrow bush. So that should be pretty. And they're white little flowers, so they should be really fun. We put some Cosmos in the back. They're looking like they're complaining about being transplanted, but they might come out of it a little bit. And then we transplanted a couple of the carnation bushes, so they're over there as well. And then we have some gomfrina in there and some salvia over here. And then another yarrow in the middle there. We put some bee balm right along this drain pipe here so we'll see how that does and then we have at the end here all of our status i hope that you guys enjoyed the video i <laughs> i can't get blown away here <laughs> so i hope that you guys have enjoyed the video i hope that it has inspired you to do something fun in your garden and please let me know down in the comments below what are you growing what's going on in your garden. I'd love to hear from you. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already done that. That helps me out so much. And thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.